Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Vintage Tips and Tricks video. As you've probably noticed, I have missed the last five days of Vlogtober. I'm really sorry. It started with difficulty uploading last Saturday, as you would know. I struggled to upload my Friday video. I don't know if it was my web connection where I was staying or if it was YouTube, but I just could not get it to finish loading. It just loaded forever for like 24 hours and then never actually uploaded the video. Then the same thing happened on Saturday, but I, after three tries, I managed to get my lipstick tutorial up. And then on Sunday, I had the same problem. It just wouldn't load. Then on Monday, I was preparing and packing my stuff to go to France and I started feeling really sick. I don't know if it was something that I ate, but um, I started feeling incredibly sick in the stomach. And then on Tuesday, when I got on my flight, I got very, very sick and spent the entire flight like lying down across three chairs. I didn't even watch movies or anything. I just lay down feeling sorry for myself the whole time and being sick, I can let you figure out for yourself what that means. So for the last five days, basically, I have been very unwell with the stomach flu and um, been lying in bed. Today is my first day eating food, huzzah. But anyway, I'm back finally. I will try and catch up a little bit. I highly doubt that I'm gonna catch up all five days that I've missed of Vlogtober, but I will do my best, I promise. I still have some videos in the backlog to upload for you guys, but I'm gonna get back with a vintage tips and tricks video today. Thank you also for all of your suggestions so far about what kind of videos I should do during Vlogtober. There's been some really great ones. There are some videos from my previous stint, my um, Vader, that are still in the back of the videos to do. I now have long enough hair to do a Lana Del Rey video, which has been requested a while back. There's a 1960s makeup video that's been requested this time around. There's plenty on the list, so I will get to them throughout Vlogtober, as well as showing you a bit around France and then the journey to London. Today, what I thought I would do for my latest vintage tips and tricks video is show you some of my absolute favorite and most inspiring books that I love that I use for my vintage style, for ideas for videos, and just some general inspiration. So first and foremost is a book I actually just recently finished reading. So this is basically a biography of Max Factor by Fred E. Baston. So it's Max Factor, the man who changed the faces of the world. And this is really fascinating. It's the story of Max Factor's life. So how he came to live in America and his work through Hollywood and the history of film and how he created makeup for each new development of film as it came about, which is really amazing. And most of what we know as our kind of general types of wearable makeup today came from Max Factor. People really didn't wear makeup before Max Factor came along. It was considered kind of bawdy and ladies didn't wear makeup. It just wasn't considered the in thing to do. That old thing of like, if you're a lady, you pinch your cheeks. If you're, pardon my language, but if you're a whore, you wear rouge. Max Factor kind of broke that and brought glamour from Hollywood to the, the streets of the world. And I think this book really does a wonderful job of explaining how he did that, talking through the various processes he went through to create different makeups for a film and then bring it out to the general public, and also highlights the things that we can thank him for. So I won't spoil it. I'd highly recommend getting the book and giving it a read because I really enjoyed it and I learned so much that I didn't know before. My second book is actually one, it's a vintage beauty book, literally called Beauty. <laughs> And this was owned by my grandmother. Actually, I haven't checked when it was written. 1935, Home Entertainment Library. How to attain and retain beauty. There you go. This book I have read through various sections for many years and I find it fascinating because it talks through everything from how you should prepare yourself the night before for your husband, how you should look during the day, how a lady's portent should be, like how you carry yourself, how to walk, how to exercise, what to wear in certain situations, what colours to wear for your complexion and your hair and the shape of your face. It's really, really fascinating. And I'd actually like to do some sections out of this book for you guys as part of the Vintage Tips and Tricks series. I think that would be really interesting. I'm thinking I might even do a series purely on its own within the Vintage Tips and Tricks that is just from this because some of it is really fun like there's some exercises in here that explain kind of how to keep your body looking athletic and toned and I don't really believe that the exercises in the book could possibly actually do anything because they seem extremely minimal but I was thinking maybe I will do a video demonstrating what the exercises are what some of them are there's actually quite a lot um, if you would like that comment below because I think it would be entertaining and I would kind of be interested to see if they're hard enough to make any difference to your physique because I feel like they're just like 
waving your arms around or whatever and aren't necessarily doing anything but you know maybe they had some secrets of the day that we just don't know about anymore so I would be intrigued by that but in terms of how to look after your skin vintage face massage facials applying moisturizer massaging um, parts of your body keeping your hands looking youthful things like that it's got some really amazing tips on how to do that and they're all do-it-yourself friendly so this is a really great beauty guide that I, I refer to an awful lot so I will share with you from this book next is a whopper and it was a gift from Val he found it in an English bookstore in France for me and I was drooling over it and then lo and behold I got it for Christmas last year and it is a, the book of film noir and it has mostly traditional film noir in it, but it does have some neo-noir as well. So films like Drive and Blade Runner in there. But it has some really amazing pictures of some of the greatest superstars of film noir in it. Like, look at this. Oh, isn't it beautiful? So it's got some great hair inspiration. It's got some great photo shoot inspiration, like pictures for Instagram and stuff. And I would really like to do like a little film series where I watch the film and then try and recreate the look or something with you guys. So um, again, comment below if that's something that you would be interested in. I think it would be really fun and probably a little bit more achievable once I'm in London and we have our own place and I've settled in a bit and I can get some access to some more makeup. I've been dying to do that. Um, I need some varieties of eyeshadow and blush and that kind of stuff. So that would be really exciting. But yeah, I love this book. Um, and it's just got a little bit of the history of the film, how it went, the actors in it. Etc. Really fascinating and I would like to share that with you guys too. Getting a little pile going over here. The next one is probably my biggest inspiration and that is Dita Von Tees, Burlesque and the Art of Tees, Fetish and the Art of Tees. It's a double-sided book so on one side it has Burlesque uh, and Dita's cheesecake pin-up stuff and then on the other side it's got Dita's Fetish and Tees work so before she became the burlesque queen that we all know she was into like small time fetish porn or like niche porn and of course she did her own burlesque routines in strip clubs and for um, things like agent provocateur and then she was in playboy magazine but this book has just the most amazing color photographs of her costumes and things in it which i find so inspiring i'll show you some of my favorites Seriously, one day I will do a show wearing an outfit like that. I actually kind of own stuff like this already. I just haven't written the show yet. <laughs> like, look at this outfit, guys. Seriously. So gorgeous. So the Dita Von Tees book, like when you go through it, is just extravagant and fills me with inspiration every time I look at it. I'm really obsessed with the idea of her getting um, her beauty book, my, my beauty spot. I love reading what she thinks and I love the fact that she's an advocate of glamour day and night. I just find Dita Von Tees really fascinating. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up because my phone keeps dying on me and hopefully it's not going to tell me in two seconds that it has no room left. But yes, this book is a godsend and I constantly go to it for inspiration for my shows because I just love it. Please tell me if you've got my beauty spot because I would be so interested to hear what you guys think of the book and whether or not I should get it. Comment below. And last but not least is one that I got myself just before I left France and that is an adult graphic novel. It's not really a graphic novel but um because it's super tiny but like it's a cartoon and it is about a 1940s female pilot but it's all in French so it's my way for me to practice French because it's not too hard to read a comic. And yeah, I just love it. It's all pin-up style. Look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? The hair and the drawings of the 1940s style of the pilot in it are just like phenomenal. I think it's beautiful. So that was my little treat for myself before I left. There's one particular shot in here I want to show you. <laughs> Look at that bullet bra. <laughs> love it. And then the gorgeous like pin-up shot of her in the back. I just think it is so, so gorgeous. So it's called Angel Wings and it's all about her being a female fighter pilot in the 1940s which is just, yeah, I love it so much. I can't wait to read it as my French gets better. The last book I'm going to recommend is actually 
online and they are my 30s 40s and 50s vintage guys that I got online and I'll put the link down below again like I did last time I mentioned them in my videos these books are a godsend they are full of tips on do-it-yourself products like the beer setting lotion and the sugar setting lotion came from these books but also give tips on like the hairstyles of the era how to create the different lip shapes all that kind of stuff so I highly recommend grabbing these books as well I love them and I use them all the time I think you can get them in hard copy but I got mine in digital copy and and yeah, I use them really frequently. So if you guys have any wonderful vintage books, whether they're from specific eras or whether they're modern books about vintage style, please let me know in the comments below and um, I'll check them out if I can. Or if there's something that you think I should really get, definitely tell me. Otherwise, let me know if this is helpful to you, if you, any of you guys already have these books that I've got, or if any of you also have books that your grandmothers or great grandmothers owned, I would really be interested because I love reading mine and my grandma has like highlighted in her beauty book different sections that are relevant to her so I was really interested to read what she thought she needed to work on which is just really gorgeous and ironic when you know the person. I hope you enjoyed this video guys if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and check the little notification bell so that you make sure you know when my videos pop up. I'll see you really soon hopefully tomorrow provided everything goes well and my uploading works overnight tonight and I will see you in the next video guys. Bye!